There's a pretty cool giveaway happening right now on the ASUS Strix GTX 1080 on the NICE app. So make sure you guys participate because there's only one week left to enter. I'll drop a link to the app down below. What's up guys, it's Zeph from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 122 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video linked all the way down below in the description section. Let the Setup Wars begin. So guys, I've been playing this game called Guns of Boom for the past month now and it's extremely addicting. So be warned because this game will definitely eat up all of your time. YouTube is very stressful for me. One of the ways I unwind and just take a break from making videos is by playing Guns of Boom, believe it or not. So instead of just talking about it, I'm gonna jump into a quick game. So the concept of the game is very simple guys. It's a four on four team deathmatch and you can actually play with three random people or you can invite your friends and group up as well. So the concept is very simple, you move around and you aim at them and the gun automatically starts shooting. You can reload just like all first person shooters. And actually if you aim at their head, it does more damage because it's considered a headshot. Just like that. So currently my favorite gun is the Anaconda because the longer you shoot, the faster it gets. I also love using my sniper from time to time. If I want to snipe from a distance safely, and not have to worry about close quarter combat. So let me see if I can snipe somebody. Show you guys the power of the Manticore sniper that I'm using right now. Wow, I was, that was almost a no scope. It's got a ton of weapons and gear to choose from. I really think you guys will enjoy playing it, especially if you love Overwatch or CSGO. I mean, the graphics, the sound effects, everything is awesome on this game. If you guys do download it, make sure to add me to your friends list so we can play together. My in-game name is techsource underscore YouTube, just like how it is on this screen. Guns of Boom is a real PC shooter on mobile, so join the millions that already play the game. I'll drop a link to the app down below. It is free to play on both Android and iOS, and also a huge thanks to Guns of Boom for partnering with me to make this video possible. Starting off the show, we got a very organized setup from Bua, featuring the 34-inch ultrawide from LG, and the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard with the Logitech G502 mouse. Flanking the monitor are a pair of Logitech Z533 speakers, and behind the monitor is a boom arm holding up his BM800 microphone. If you've been paying attention, there are two things that Bua has done to his setup. The first one being the carbon fiber skins. It looks like he applied them to the top of his Sony MDR headphones, as well as the base of the headphone stand, and then the Logitech speakers. He even skinned his PC case, the Fantex Evolve, which looks stunning by the way. Excellent cable management inside the PC, and I noticed that you have purple accents throughout your setup. The LEDs from the Strix 1070, and from the keyboard and mouse. The second thing I noticed from his setup is the commitment on that black and white contrast. A white Audi R8 with a white Xbox One controller on a black shelf, and vice versa on a white shelf. Also the black and white Star Wars poster, we got the black and white figurines on top of the case and black gear on top of the white desk. Nicely done. Usually when people have great cable management inside their PCs, their setup reflects that as well and it's no surprise that everything is very tidy underneath the desk. Most of the cables are tucked away inside the net and the rest of the cables are tied together using zip ties and we also got the power strip that is hidden inside a cable box underneath. I'm very impressed. I don't really have anything to recommend at all. It's a very clean setup. Thank you, Bua, for entering. Heiki is next up with a triple monitor setup featuring two 24-inch Acer monitors, sandwiching a 1080p display from Asus right in the middle, and it looks like all three displays are hooked up to a custom backboard that he built himself. It also looks like he's using the same countertop as my filming desk, and that's being held up by an Alex drawer unit and two IKEA legs. He is using the wired Apple keyboard with an MX Master, but he did drill a hole in the desk for the wire, and he also drilled a hole in the backboard to run the monitor wires through as well. For audio, he's rocking the Fatboy microphone? What is that? Is that really what it's called? Fatboy from Air Microphones. I gotta look this up, I'm sorry. I, for some reason, I feel like I'm getting trolled. Wow, it actually exists. What kind of a company would name their mic Fatboy? On their website, it says Fatboy brings the fat to your home studio. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? 
I'm sorry, but am I being naive or something? Does FAT or FAT mean something in the audio world? Anyways, back to the setup. So his other audio gear consists of a pair of KRK Rocket 5 speakers with a tower add-on, which by the way adds more bass to the sound output. We also got the popular ATH M50Xs. The cable management seems to be under control for the most part. There is a lot going on underneath the desk, but the Signum Rack has most of that contained. However, the wires behind your PC might need a few Velcro straps, or better yet, a cable sleeve. I'll drop a link to one I recommend down below. Speaking of your PC, I don't even know how that tiny 750Ti is handling three monitors. That's pretty crazy. You know what, I feel really bad. If you're watching this video, toss me an email and I'll send out a brand new GTX 1050 Ti. I know it's not much, but it's definitely a nice upgrade for your rig. The only other thing that bothers me is that light on the right side. It's kind of throwing off the balance and the symmetry of your setup. We got the boom arm that offsets the LED lamp you have on the left side, and then you got a random light bowl. It's kind of weird because you don't have it on the desk in some of your other pictures, so maybe it's just there for lighting in that specific picture. But either way, you got a pretty good foundation for an awesome setup. Just work hard and save up for those nice upgrades. Thank you, HeyK, for entering. Johnny Boy is next up with an interesting setup. So this is the first ever triple monitor cubicle setup that I've ever seen on the show. He's got two 22 inch monitors below the 45 inch Sony Smart TV. And I'm just surprised he's able to fit all this gear in such a tiny space. He's using the Razer or Nada Chroma keyboard and a random budget wireless gaming mouse. Even though he's got such a small space to work with, he kept his setup very clean and tidy. Who needs a headphone hanger when you can use the side of your cubicle wall as a hanger? He hooked up his Turtle Beach Stealth 400 and the JBL Synchros headphones up there, and look at the placement of his Snowball Ice microphone on the left side. Very creative. You know what will be even more creative? Finding a way to hook it up behind that Sony TV. See if you can find a way to clamp the bottom part of the boom arm to the mounting part of the TV mount. If it works out, you can hide the boom arm behind the TV and bring it straight down and over the TV when you need to use it. He also has a PS4 on the left side and when he's bored from console gaming, he jumps on his PC which has an FX 6300 and an RX 480. I gotta give you points for putting a piece of glass underneath your PC since you do have carpet. A lot of people just leave their PCs on carpet and they wonder why their PCs die after a year. Cable management is also on point, good use of the velcro strap behind the PC, and I don't see any other wires underneath your desk, so nicely done. There's no question that this setup is yours. You made sure of that by posting pictures of your childhood, something that isn't very common on setups. I'm not sure whether it's because we are embarrassed of our childhood pictures or we just simply don't have any, but it's nice to see something refreshing on Setup Wars. Sadly, our memories fade and the only way we can capture our past is through pictures or video. And Johnny decided to live those moments every day. He doesn't care about how sexy or how badass his setup is. The most important thing is it works for him and that's all that matters. The fact that you made it work with such a limited amount of space will earn my respect any day. Thank you Johnny for entering. Brace your eyeballs because his next setup will either make you want to pull out your eyes and eat them or it will make your jaw drop to your trousers. This is definitely an interesting layout. He's got three 25 inch ultra wide monitors but the middle one is in vertical mode. And that's because he's a professional software developer and he uses the vertical display for coding as you guys can see in this picture. Behind the monitors he's got two Philips 2.1 speakers and on the desk he is using the Texit mechanical keyboard with the Red Dragon Karura 502 mouse. I gotta say that desk looks really nice and apparently it was custom made by a carpenter and he said that he didn't want to drill a hole for the keyboard and mouse because it would ruin the beautiful desk and I can understand. I mean your cable management is perfect anyways, no need to drill any unnecessary holes if you don't want to. It looks like he hooked up his power strip underneath the desk and he placed his subwoofer on his PC. Now I don't know if that's a good idea because the vibrations might damage the components inside your case over time, but I don't know, maybe you're fine. Speaking of the PC, it's rocking an i3-6100 and the MSI GTX 1060 with 16 gigs of RAM. By the way, I did read your message and I thank you for the kind words. Uh, stuff like that really reinforces the reason why I do YouTube every single day. 
and I'm glad that I could help and thank you again for watching. He basically wrote down that he watches almost all my videos and he's learned to build a custom PC and a clean desk setup from it. He followed all my guidelines from building a PC to cable management and he built his very own setup. And I'm guessing this is the picture of his setup before everything was put together. A simple, symmetrical and very clean setup. By the way, I like that motorcycle on your desk. Thank you Rav for entering. Jesus mother of all black and blue balls. What the hell is going on over here? Now this is a creative setup. Wow. Black on blue with wooden accents. Now that is an interesting color combination. This dude even framed his acoustic panels. He legit framed them with wooden pieces. This is gonna blow your mind guys. Are you ready for this? The wall that he mounted his PC and monitor on actually comes out and he kept all the cables and the power strips behind that. Let me rephrase that. He cable managed inside of a wall. This episode's over. Okay, I'm just gonna give this to you. Please, it would be my honor if you were to take the seal of approval from me. And also here, take this $100 cash prize. And also, if you want, you can take home a TechSource t-shirt. So if you're watching this video, toss an email to setupwords at gmail.com and claim your prize because you definitely deserve it. This setup is not only unique, but it's symmetrical, organized, and it has purpose. Well done. This entire room is fitted with black and blue acoustic foams and he even has a dedicated station for recording audio. The Blue Yeti microphone with the isolation shield is a disgusting combo. And I mean disgusting in the best possible way. It's ridiculous what that isolation shield does for voiceovers. If you guys own one of those, then you know what I'm talking about. I love this setup even more now because I just realized he's rocking the same speakers as me, but in black instead. So on the left side, he's got a pair of Audio-Technica M50Xs, which are skinned by D-Brands, of course, and he's got his Pixel XL right next to that. He's using the Corsair K65 keyboard with the Logitech G602 mouse and a black and blue mouse pad. I swear, everything is literally either black or blue or both, even his chair. I mean, the consistency and the commitment is insane. All right, now that I've calmed down, let's take a look at his Beast PC right there in the center. So I'm expecting something ridiculous. Oh, it's actually not that bad. I mean, he's only rocking a 6850K 6-core processor, 32 gigs of RAM, and two GTX freaking 1080s. Jesus Lord have mercy on my soul. The entire build has custom painted parts, and he even added blue carbon fiber skins to some of the parts. Are you kidding me? It doesn't even end here. He has another setup on the opposite side of this room, and I mean, I don't even know where to begin on this one. He managed to mount his monitor, keyboard, mouse, and even his PC on the side of a writing desk. Not on it, but on the side. I bet you this is what he was thinking in his mind before he decided to do this. Hmm, I definitely need another setup for my room, but I got no more space. What should I do? You know what? Screw it. Who needs a surface for a setup? I'm just gonna use the side of my furniture and create a setup there. So on the desk, he's got the Xbox One, which of course is skinned in black and blue carbon fiber skins, but why stop there if you can skin the router as well? And he's also got quite the collection of GPUs showcased here. Apparently he's a PC modder and he's also got an anti-static mat over here with a bunch of tools and a drawer full of PC accessories. Zach's organization is definitely on another level, that's for sure. And to top it all off, this entire room was modded by him. This is actually what the room looked like before he added the wooden walls. He does have a YouTube channel and I want to give him a shout out because his setup is very impressive. It's called Next Tech News. Make sure you guys check him out and tell them that text or sent you. Maybe even compliment him on his setup video. I'll drop a link to his channel below, so definitely check it out, guys. My only question to you, Zach, is where the hell have you been for the past year of me doing setup wars? These are the kind of setups I want to feature on the show. So if you're watching this video and you have something this crazy or even more crazy, Please, for the love of God, send in your submission. Link is down below. I mean, I get wet dreams looking at setups like these. So please send in your submissions. My bed sheets will hate you, but I will love you. This video was sponsored by MassDrop. Right now, they're taking requests on their new 35 inch curved gaming monitor that features a 2 millisecond response time, 100 hertz refresh rate, and a 3440 by 1440p VA panel with FreeSync.
The monitor is rocking a VA panel, which is known for their high contrast ratio, deeper blacks, and virtually zero light bleed. It's also great for productivity with sRGB coverage of 100%. I'm surprised they're able to pack in all these awesome features in an ultra-wide gaming monitor for only $550. So if you guys want to grab one at this price, make sure to visit the link below to reserve one because if it comes back in the future, it's going to cost a bit more. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup, even though it's probably obvious at this point. I'll ask the winners on my Twitter and InstaFail accounts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces. I will see you in the next one.